Casey the Game Nerd back at you with another pickups video. I have a lot to show you as usual, um, so let's get started. First, I will show you some pickups I got from another Seattle Retro Gamers member, so SRG Group. His name's Travis. He hooked me up with all these games for $5 each. Um, this Yu Gi Oh! Eternal Duelist actually had the original three holographic cards that came inside it. So that was five bucks. This Golden Sun European Edition, five bucks. Um, but it does still play in English, so it's all good. Um, Animal Crossing Wild World, five bucks. Mario Party DS, play this all the time, five bucks. Uh, Super Mario DS, or Super Mario 64 DS. RPG Maker 2, five dollars. And this is cool, it's a boxed um, Platinum Edition, Game Boy Advance, and it's European because I checked the back and it says uh, CE, usually when it has that CE stamp um, it's European so it's cool that's my first uh, European Game Boy Advance and this was just thrown in for free little mini plushies here and a game case so thanks Travis and we got some garage sale deals N64 bundle, I paid 20 bucks for everything. Got Rampage 2. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yoshi Story. All the cords, of course. Uh, purple controller. And the N64 itself. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, a lot of people are hitting me up for N64s, um, so I sell them pretty quickly. So that was a good deal. At another garage sale, I got this cool red DS. This is the OG version, silver back, ten bucks, and it came with a charger, and it's like in really good shape. No scratches on the screen either. And this is a, kind of an uncommon find, I would say. It's an N-Gage QD. And a there was a couple of not for resale games included. And um, there was another couple loose carts. I think one of them was Bomberman. Um, I don't remember the others. But this originally came out as a cell phone slash uh, video game unit. And that's how they promoted it to people and advertised it but people nowadays they still buy it um, and buy the cartridges and it's a portable video game uh, system so made by Nokia and I paid fifteen dollars for that so I thought that was a pretty decent deal considering the uh, N-Gage loose without the box is at least thirty five forty bucks usually for a good condition one without games Okay, next I'm going to go with some pawn shop pickups. Um, I paid quite a bit for these games. Um, I bundled them, which is a good technique when you uh, go to a pawn shop. You want to bundle your games, and I also bundled the controller. I'll show you the controller last. So I got this Mario & Luigi Partners in Time because it's sealed. Um, but at an average price of $10 a game, it's really good, especially for a sealed game and then I put it in a protective case already then we got New Super Mario Brothers Wii I already have this but I figured if I bundled everything I'd get an even better deal um, Super Mario Galaxy 2 I don't remember but I think the one I had was loose so getting the one in the case is good especially for ten bucks and this is what I'm excited about it's a Halo Edition Xbox 360 controller and these are pretty pricey online so I got a good deal getting this for fifteen dollars bundled with, with all those games so yeah 
it's in pretty good condition too. I like the detailed artwork on there. I'll show you. Let's jump to some online purchases. Uh, Amazon had a sale, I think it was last week or so. Um, no, it was two weeks ago because shipment shipping took a couple um, extra days, if I recall. We got a camouflage special edition Xbox 360. This was $30 shipped. I thought it was a good deal because it's brand new and it's in the special casing and it's a special edition 360 controller. Um, mini copter, or yeah, mini copter adventure flight. This is a remote control um, helicopter game and it has some pretty good ratings and it's uh, kind of rare, I, I would say. I paid five bucks on Amazon. The guy didn't know what he had, and this goes for thirty plus on on eBay and other Amazon sellers. So I got lucky with that. And then El Chavo. So this is a rare Wii game only because it was made in Mexico. It wasn't made in the U.S. and wasn't um, it wasn't distributed in the U.S from what I uh, remember through my research and I paid twenty dollars for the sealed game shipped um, prices on eBay on the other hand are thirty five all the way up to seventy dollars especially for the sealed game um, I might be going for the full Wii set that's why I got it so I figured get it early while it's still cheap um, because later on it's going to be like over a hundred dollars, kind of similar to what happened to regular Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games that are, are very rare. So these are a couple of thrift store pickups um, from Desert Industries, Lilo and Stitch. And before you say anything, this is actually a Metal Slug and Contra clone. Um, it's a good, it's a really good game. Um, it got good ratings online. Um, give it a shot. Uh, try it out. Um, if you can't find it at your local stores, it's pretty cheap online. But uh, I got it in the box now, so that's a good deal. And I also got Super Mario Brothers 2 at the same thrift shop for three bucks. Okay, some Value Village pickups. <clears throat> So I went to Value Village, they had all their NES games for 5 bucks each. Um, I separated them into two transactions because I have a $3 off $10 purchase coupon. So essentially all these $5 games were $3.50. So we got Star Wars, <clears throat> Super Mario Brothers 3, so $3.50 for this. And it's really good because all of them come with a manual. I mean, the manual makes a difference. Uh, Spot, the video game, three fifty after the discount with the manual. And the last one is <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Three fifty after the discount. So, those were excellent, and I'll show you... Uh, one of the receipts so you can see some proof hopefully that focuses and also at Value Village I had to get this when I saw it it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sleeping bag it's very retro um, made in the 90's Hopefully you can see this. I'll, sh I'll probably upload a picture after I show this so you can get a better idea. <clears throat> yeah, I'll upload a picture right now. Some more pawn shop deals. Um, I got these three for two dollars each. Uh, PK Out of the Shadows two bucks didn't have it Phantom Brave 
and this is the one with the randomly generated dungeon maps and I have it for Wii don't have it for PS2 so this is the special edition with the uh, <clears throat> with the soundtrack and Tulip it's a very quirky game um, basically you find a girl of your dreams and then you have to um, go around town and um, try to beef up your reputation by uh, um, helping other critters and earning extra smooches as they call it um, it's really weird um, really quirky and it goes for 20 plus 21 plus on online so for two bucks got a good deal. First I'll show you the receipt I'll show you the Nintendo games first got Wheel of Fortune I needed a label upgrade for this so for a buck it's pretty good Baseball Stars really good baseball game one of my favorites and I even have this for a Neo Geo MBS now the rest of these were 30 cents each so keep that in mind I bought um, a GameCube game just for its case. Um, it's nothing special. I got Family Feud for PS2. That was 30 cents. Celebrity Deathmatch. Blitz 2002. Got NBA Street Volume 3. Who's that on the cover? Baron Davis, I think. Got Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. And a lot of these I didn't have, so for 30 cents each, that's pretty good. Burnout. And almost all of them came with a manual, so that was surprising, too. Soul Calibur 2 with Spawn featured in the game. Got a Harry Potter game. SpongeBob SquarePants the movie. Pirates of the Caribbean. Got R Racing Evolution. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, Batman Begins, which I don't think I played, so I'll give this a shot. And these, really excited about them, The Warriors, haven't played it yet, it's a Rockstar game. Um, this goes for quite a bit, I think in the 18 range maybe higher now um, in Star Wars Battlefront 2 this is at minimum 25 to 30 dollars and up on eBay so for 30 cents this was excellent so I was actually surprised at that deal um, I normally don't see those deals except maybe once a year uh, last year I got a boatload of PS2 games for 10 cents each um, at the same pawn shop so I lucked out again sometimes you just gotta time it right okay I'm gonna show you an online pickup and this is my very first uh, graded comic book and the reason why I got this is this is Deadpool um, issue number 11 and it's a Hastings exclusive so it was only released for that store I believe at least with this um, cover variant and um, there's no Hastings around my area, um, at least in drivable uh, distance. And I got this for maybe a third of what it should go for, especially at a 9.8 um, rating or grade. At least that's what my uh, comic book friend told me. So I lucked out, got this very cheap, and it's somewhat of a tribute to uh, Super Super Mario Brothers because of the cover so th that's the main reason I got it 
just thought that was cool. And I'll show you. This was a Craigslist pickup, and I paid 70 which is a lot, but once I show you what I got, I think you'll agree it was a good deal. So a boxed yellow N64 controller, a boxed red N64 controller, and lastly, it gets better, the extreme green N64 controller. And this is very rare. It goes for $300 and up, believe it or not, on eBay. It's crazy how much this costs, um, all because of the box. Um, I guess it's really rare and really hard to find. So for $70, bucks, um, that's probably the cost of just the red and the yellow. And getting an extreme green for free, essentially, um, that's fantastic. Okay. Got some more games here. Um, these were from, oh, this was from the pawn shop. And I forgot to show, um, I think I forgot to show the Final Fantasy. I also got for $5 from Travis. And it came with all the maps, too. So. If I didn't show this earlier, thank you, Travis, for a good deal. Okay, these were $3 each, um, and let's see what the receipt says. Two of them were five, um, and five of them were three. So if you see the receipt, I got five of them for $3 each, and then two of them for five. So I'll show you the $3 ones first. Mario Kart, Dragon Quest 6, that was good for 3 bucks, that's crazy, Dragon Quest 9, also 3 bucks, Pokemon Black 2, 3 bucks, I mean, any Pokemon game for 3 bucks is good, loose, and this came with a case, so that's great. And Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs. Uh, don't think I have this yet or even tried it. So, three bucks. Now, these were five bucks each. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's um, Super Mario Brothers. So, New Super Mario Brothers, five bucks. And 3DS, which I thought was a good deal. New Super Mario Brothers 2 for five bucks. So, now I'm going to show you um, the biggest pickup I've had um, in a while. Uh, this is something that I picked up at the 25 cent, 50 cent bin. Um, I already posted it on my Facebook. Um, but for those that don't follow me on Facebook, um, I did do a label upgrade on this, um, which I'm excited about because this is what it used to look like. Super Noah's Ark 3D. Horrible label. Okay. I paid 50 cents for this and it's a $180 game. So here it is with a new label. And this is not a repo label or a fake label. This is an original old stock label from Wisdom Tree. So this plays on the Super Nintendo, unlicensed cart, very rare, and my friend Josh from the Seattle Retro Gamers group, one of the best groups on Facebook, um, he hooked me up with a bunch of uh, stickers, manuals, um, got um, another sticker for Super Noah's Ark 3D, um, few... Sunday Funday manuals and um, Bible Buffet and these were a buck each this is for Game Boy King James Bible on Game Boy and these Bible Buffet uh, old stock um, 
boxes. So for a buck each, that's good. So that was one of the best deals I've had in a while.